Hey guys, welcome to Espitas and in this video tutorial, we are going to learn this. Let's go to Cinema 4D. Okay, first we'll take Sphere to Radius. I'll take 60. Segment 16 fine. Type Icosa Hedron. Okay. Uncheck this stand up of it, we don't want that and remove these form tag also so you will get this kind of look. Okay, now duplicate this uh, sphere and radius 15. Go to side view and just hide this camera, is disturbing. Okay, go to side view. And just position it to on the top. Okay. Now go to object again and select cylinder radius 2 cm, height 400. That's perfect. And then go to side view and reposition this. Go to object again and select null, reposition null to here. It's perfect. Now select both sphere and cylinder and put everything inside null like this. Okay. Like this. Now as of now, just hide this null. Okay. Now, go to object, select slender, radius 35, height 40, and orientation plus C. Again, hide this. Go to object. Now we need some objects like capsule, platonic, and cube to put inside our cloner. So first, select capsule. Radius will take six or maybe seven. Okay. Height thirty. And segment one, caps, cap segment, I take five, and rotation segments twenty. Okay, now go to object and select this platonic. DS I'll take ten. You can go to object and select cube. By 12, 12 cm, 12 cm. Fillet, check 0.6. So, so you can see here our cube, capsule, and platonic. Okay, okay. Now go to MoGraph, select Clono, and put cube. Platonic and capsule inside the cloner like this. Now select the cloner and inside mode select object and in this object select this cylinder, drag and drop it to here. Now just check it. Okay. See. Okay. Now go to distribution instead of surface select volume and count make it 100 okay now select this lender and just hold alt and click twice just to hide that 
Blender. Okay, now select the cube, right click and select this rigid body. Go to Dynamics, uh, Collision, uh, Inside Refraction, make it 0. And uh, go to Force, Follow Position and rotation, Follow Rotation, make both 50. Now just click on the this tag, hold Ctrl and copy. Again, Ctrl and drag it down. Now go to frame one. And hide our this null. Just hold Alt and click once. Okay, now we will animate this thing. Oh, before that, we need a plane. So, go to object, plane, and see in a side view. Just to make sure. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, D and scale. Now, select this null, go to chord, at frame 1, see, this angle, no, don't need this camera. Frame one, select this null and thirty degree and hit keyframe. Add keyframe. Now go to two hundred frame. Again, add keyframe. Go to hundred. Add keyframe. Now add fifty. Make this minus thirty and add keyframe. Also add 150th frame minus 30 and add a keyframe. Don't forget to add a uh, click on this whenever it's yellow, click and make it red. Okay. So now if we play, this is our animation. But this is not affecting on this clone. So select this null, go to simulation tag and select collider body. Now, go to collision and friction, make 10 per second. Now, again, go to frame 1 and hit play button. See now, you will get this kind of animation. Friction, This step for frame 15 and maximum. Solve our iteration per step 15. So it will solve this thing. Now it's perfect. Make this thing 10. Let's see. Now quickly I'll add material to it. I'm not using glass material here. So what we can do is just select this and go to render tag. Select display and inside this visibility make this thing only 20 percent 
Now just copy and drag and drop it to here. Same thing we will do it for this null and select hold control and drag and drop. you will get this kind of animation and you hit render first go to setting inside centralizing don't forget to click on best okay now and uh, yeah one more thing you do global uh, effect and select this global animation I just put effects Global animation. Just go somewhere here. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> just hit, hit this render button. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe SPTels and don't forget to hit that bell icon. And guys, if you want me to create more cool stuff then please consider supporting this channel. You can download this animation. Link is down below. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you guys.